You want to see me in a snapback? You want to see me in a snapback? What's going on, everybody? Andrew from the Fung Bros, and I was at the gym the other day, and someone had ran up and asked me, hey man, are you rich? And I'm not gonna lie, that is a awkward question to run up to somebody and ask. And I was like, and then I said, and I asked him, so then I asked him, why would you ask me that? Why, why would you say that I was rich? What makes you think that I'm rich? Because you're a YouTuber, man. You got like 2 million subscribers. Everybody with a million subscribers is rich. I know I read an article on it, but if you watch our channel, you can probably tell that we are not in the tier that he's referring to because people such as PewDiePie, they are making so much money, it's ridiculous. But right now, I came across this list on Forbes.com of the top 10 earning YouTubers of 2018. So I'm here to tell you who's on this list, why they're making that much, and who probably watches them because clearly a lot of people do. All right, so there are 10 YouTubers on this list and I have an idea who may be on it, but I actually really don't know the order and I literally do not know because there are so many YouTubers out there. All right, guys, are you guys ready to get into this list? Let's talk about some rich YouTubers. Number 10 on this list, not a surprise, Logan Paul. In 2018, it is estimated that he made 14.5 million dollars. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie, I actually, uh, I knew Logan Paul made a lot. I actually didn't think he made that much. I thought he was making around the eight or nine million, you know, kind of range, but uh, he's almost 14. He's, he's 15. That's like, uh, who, who makes, who's the NBA player with that contract? Um, why am I selfie vlogging? And also, why do I look so gosh dang sexy? <laughs> So Logan Paul was also the same guy who went to Japan and did that whole like suicide forest thing that caught a lot of controversy, which to be honest was not cool. I'm not down with Logan Paul and I will say that straight up. I do not watch his content. I do not support him, but I understand why he gets that many views. 14.5 million. That's, that's generational money. Now I'm kind of surprised that Logan Paul is number 10 on this list because I thought he might be higher. And I'm a little bit surprised 14.5 million is at the bottom of this list. So that means there's some YouTubers out there that are making way more than that. And of course, when we're talking about total earnings, we're talking about total income. So this is not taking into account probably the expenses that they have in making videos, in traveling, in paying their editors, and buying props, et cetera, et cetera. This is actually their entire business. In this article that they're gonna talk about how much merchandise actually Logan Paul sells because that is a huge form of income. This is not all from YouTube. As we know, when you are popular, you can sell a bunch of other things. All right, moving on. PewDiePie is number nine. Oh, there's eight people making more money than PewDiePie. That, I, I'm shocked. I thought he was top three, to be honest, because we always talk about how many subscribers PewDiePie has. He's battling with T-Series. He's a mouth for the most subscribers in the world. So you would think naturally that the person with the most subscribers is making the most money, but that is not true. Oh, and he's only making 15.5 million. Uh, <laughs> yeah, me. Of course, PewDiePie, Swedish gamer, huge global fan base. I think for a lot of people who spend a lot of time on the internet, he has captured their hate. He is like them in a nutshell. Him, like there. Do I agree with everything PewDiePie says? Nope. Can I enjoy his videos? Yep. PewDiePie is an internet god. I think if PewDiePie was a little bit more corporate safe, he would be higher on this list, but I do not think he would have the god no, status no, no, no. that he would have on the internet if he was more corporate. So obviously PewDiePie being a solo creator, you gotta give him credit, and he gets to keep most of his money because he honestly doesn't look like he has very high costs. Okay, moving on, number eight. Where I make 50 million, I don't know. Jack Septicide. Who's that? Jack. Septic eye, septic eye, Jack Septic Eye. He makes sixteen million dollars. Foul mouth, energetic, Sean McLaurin is the most popular YouTuber in Ireland. Thanks to his colorful video commentary, a few bad words having kept him from going mainstream. He did a series for Disney and is developing exclusive content for live streaming platform Twitch. Yo, not gonna lie, I have no idea who this is. Oh my gosh, yo, I know why he makes so much money. I don't even need to see the rest of the video. This video is an hour and a half long, guys. If 
I'm not even mad, I'm just amazed right now. When you have an hour and a half long video, 90 minutes, this is that 90 minute video, has 1.3 million views on it. You have to understand that that many views on a video that long is worth a lot of money. How much money you make on YouTube is also determined by your watch time. So let's say you release only two minute videos and they get 1.3 million views. This hour and a half long video is making way more money than that. That means he can put one, two, three, wait, what comes after three? I don't know, seven ads into it. That's worth seven times the amount of one video where you can only put one ad. Go him. I'm happy for him, actually. Yeah, I mean, if you, anybody, there's no way you can be like an asshole and have people watch you for an hour and a half. Number seven on this list, we have Venos Gaming, earning $17 million. That is crazy. Witty Canadian gamer, Evan Fong. So shout out to Venos Gaming. He is actually Asian. He's full Asian. He's half Korean, half Chinese. Coming from Canada. Man, he makes a lot of money. I've seen his channel before. We were searching for other high earning full Asians on YouTube because that's like one of the things we like to do. And his name popped up and I didn't know because I'm not in the gaming world so I hadn't seen any of his videos, but I checked them out and they're pretty fun. Basically, he does a lot of collaborations with other professional gamers. Wait. So on the side, he's launching a hip hop career, but music so far isn't proving nearly as lucrative as the subtle art of being a couch potato in demand. All right, so that's really funny. <laughs> Venas Gaming is starting a hip hop career because this pretty much confirms what I always believe about almost every guy is that they actually want to be a rapper in some form. Tell me why I'm not surprised though that he would start a hip hop career. Obviously, I don't think his rap career is gonna be as lucrative maybe ever oh. as his YouTube thing, but he does have a media fan base and if that's something that he actually always wanted to do for his life, like since he was little but he just fell into gaming, then I think that's cool that he's pursuing his passion. Anyways, shout out to Evan Venas Gaming, making tons of money. I think he has a huge team as well, so he might have kind of high expenses, but I don't know his business model exactly. Rich Asian guy on YouTube, I support it. Coming in at the number six spot, we have Markiplier at $17.5 million this year. Markiplier is funny because uh, I actually saw his channel before. I believe he is half Asian. He actually talks to the camera a lot as he is also a huge gamer. Signed seven figures worth of brand deals and oh my gosh, man, he's just making a ton of money. Shout out to Markiplier. I think he was one of the people, to be honest, that at first when I turned onto his channel, I was like, Really? But then I, I, I watched multiple videos and I was like, nah, I get it. This guy's consistent, he's funny, he's easy to listen to. He kind of has a very relatable personality. He like changes the hair color a lot. Do I support him? I support Markiplier. I think he's actually a pretty good representation, even Asian dude. Seems like a smart guy, seems witty. It's cool to see older, more mature guys make a lot of money on YouTube because I think oftentimes we think it's like a young person's game, but that's not true. Markiplier, what are you doing with that much money? Number five, making $18 million this past year, we got Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star is a makeup artist, famous from his MySpace days. He has reinvented himself as a beauty mogul. He's one of those like personalities that I will be honest, I can see draws people in because honestly, you do not meet people like Jeffree Star in real life. Like that is not somebody you're walking down the street and just see. He is on another level, his character, the way he's able to talk and explain his life. I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't watch his channel that much so I can't say, but from the videos that I have seen, he is a great presenter. Big reason why he's making 18 million this year is because he actually sells a lot of cosmetics. But shout out to him, he is providing something that YouTube needed. Number four is Dan TDM. Again, I actually have never heard of this person. Shout out to Dan, he's making 18 points five million this year. So to no surprise, another gamer on the list. He is from Britain, does a lot of Minecraft, he sells a lot of merch. Like I said, merch can sometimes make more than just the views on YouTube. Clearly, he's a funny guy, knows how to talk, and he's a gamer. And to be honest, that those are the elements you need. Number three, we have the world famous Dude Perfect. They are making, as an entire squad, $20 million this year. That is crazy. I knew they were making a lot. I think that it just goes to show you that kind of sports and activities is still a huge part of people's lives. As much as gaming is, as much as makeup is, as much as travel is, I mean, this is Dude Perfect. They are like the sports channel. I feel like those guys can play like almost any sport to a very, very decent level. If you guys don't know Dude Perfect, obviously they make those crazy trick shots. They've worked with so many different celebrity athletes over the years. So actually I think Dude Perfect is in a great spot because they've actually been able to mold like America's pastime, baseball, basketball, football, tennis, frisbee, every other sport. And they've been able to kind of internetify it, internet internetify it for people on this side who are really into gaming. They're in a great space and I know that those videos are very hard. I'm sure they do multiple takes. I believe they're based out of Texas. It looks like they have a huge Dude Perfect 
facility now. They make that much money. So shout out to Dude Perfect, very family friendly, brand friendly. And my prediction is that there's not another sports channel on here. All right, number three, you know, Dude Perfect making 20 million. It only goes up from here, man. These last two gotta be the big dogs, big, big dogs. So let's see. Jake Paul at 21.5 million dollars a year. Woo. Most rappers can't even joke about making that much money. And that's also why kind of he acts that ignorant. Jake Paul also with his brother Logan Paul, they don't always have the best reputation. They've had their own controversies, but regardless, they've been able to maintain a humongous fan base and a crazy global audience. When Jake was living in the mansion in Hollywood with his friends and they were like doing a bunch of crazy stuff, like I don't know, burning mattresses or something like that. Obviously they were even able to live through that um, controversy. Also he had the whole Team 10 thing, which he hired a bunch of other creators and then they all came up together and all I know is that the ideas coming out of that camp are incredible they have some really good business minds on that squad trust me you don't stay this relevant without thinking about it as much as it doesn't seem like these guys think about their content they think a lot about it. all I know is that Jake Paul is getting paid all right who is number one on this list if we've already got past PewDiePie Vinos Gaming and the Paul brothers who could be number one Let's take a look. Ryan's Toy Review making $22 million. So Ryan is a seven-year-old. He loves Legos. He reviews games. Obviously, not all the money is going to this seven-year-old because there was a lot of work behind the scenes, I think, built up by his parents and the team members that are in charge of it. But oh my gosh, a kid who reviews toys is getting this many views. But why, why does he make that much money? You know, I actually, uh, this is a very family friendly channel. That means that his range of people that will watch it are anywhere from literally like three year olds to like 60 year olds. Grandparents, parents, they have kids. They're gonna turn on his video. Kids don't know how to skip ads usually. He probably does a crazy amount of brand deals with toy companies. This is one of those channels that is literally keeping toy companies alive. So it's really interesting. This channel is not that hype. You're never gonna hear about them in the news. They'll never do anything controversial until Ryan grows up and maybe becomes a Jake Paul, becomes a Jake Paul, becomes a Jake Paul. <laughs> I hope he doesn't, but until any of that happens, you're not really gonna hear about Ryan's toy reviews unless you're looking to buy kids' toys. And I gotta know, Ryan is Asian. An Asian person is at the top of the YouTube list. That is a little bit surprising, to be honest. Shout out to Ryan's toy reviews. Is it funny? The person who stands at the top of this YouTube mound of money is a seven-year-old boy. It kind of goes to show you, at the end of the day, family-friendly content can win. So that was the list of the top 10 highest earning YouTubers. I'm actually a little bit surprised by the amount of Asian representation on this list between Vinas Gaming, Ryan's Toy Reviews, and half of Markiplier. Two and a half Asians on the list kind of confirms that Asians are big on the internet. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. In the comments below, please let me know which YouTuber on this list is your favorite YouTuber and which YouTuber on this list was the most surprising to see. Also, name some other big YouTubers too that might be right below this list. You know, people who are only making like 13 and a half million dollars. Hello, Doc. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, share it if you found it was interesting, and thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm out. Peace. And the thing that is commendable to all of these YouTubers, whether or not I like their content personally or not, is that I gotta give them credit because they're all their own boss. They're all entrepreneurs. They all are self 